Hi, my name's Steve House. I work for Siemens Process Instrumentation, and today we're going to continue our look at the Somatic PDM licenses. This is following on from my first blog that looked at the single tag license. We're moving on to basic and service licenses, which really are the building block for very extended functionality. So here we have the full license portfolio again. Um, as I've already suggested in the first blog, we looked at the single tag license, which if you can remember, cannot be upgraded with these options. So we move on to the basic license and the next package up, which is service. And then in later blogs, we'll look at this functionality in more detail on, on what we can do with these option packages. So over the next few minutes, we'll have a deeper delve into the functionality of these two licenses. So the next license we're going to look at is Somatic Basic. So this is really the building block. So as I alluded to before, uh, the single tag license uh, cannot be upgraded. We really need to start with the basic. So the basic sits there in the middle and we can see the basic part number at the top, the PDM 9.1. And that comes with four tags as standard. Uh, if we want to expand that, we can by adding more tags. And again, you can see the part numbers. And then we can add extra functionality to this, which we'll go on to later on. But just to give you an idea, we can add the change log, calibration reports, um, more advanced import export uh, functionality. So um, if you've got a large project, you can use LifeList to scan the network and it will tell you what's on there. And if you have this functionality, you can then import that into your project and it will automatically build your projects up. So it's a much quicker way to, to get your projects up and running. Um, we can then add the print and compare functions. So you, you see that was we couldn't do that on the single tag. Heart multiplexers now we can we can add that functionality. So heart multiplexers, just be careful that includes wireless heart. The wireless heart gateway is a heart multiplexer. Okay, and then we can add the server client functionality, which which will make sense as we go on. So you can build that all up yourself. But what Siemens has done for you is, is they've 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 already created packs um, to make your your product selection a little bit easier, and, and and in some cases the the cost is a little bit better than building it all up with separate uh, uh, licenses. You also only have one line item to put on your order which we all like to make things simple so the first license we're going to look at presentation works is the service uh, license so again the part number is at the top the service license of course comes with the basic license and then it comes with an additional 50 tax so all you get 54 okay so how can I use it well the first place we can put it is on a service laptop okay so um, let's have a look at where we can install this so we can use it as a, a point to point there's nothing wrong with using it how we would use a single tag license but of course um, you know we we, we can have a project with 54 devices, so we don't have to keep creating multiple projects, but we can still do point to point configuration. We can then start connecting it to Profibus DP networks to, to route down to um, other instruments through subnets. Um, remember, I said that was an issue before because the header module was there. Well, now I can connect PDM because I've got the 54 tags. I can route all the way through my IO down to my heart instruments. And we can't do a presentation without talking about Profinet. It's coming. There's, there's more and more remote IO coming to give us really nice functionality. It's a lot faster. Um, you'll see when you start using, if you've used PDM on Profibus DP, PA networks, if you start doing that on on Profinet with Profibus PA, so here we have the compact field unit, you'll start to see a big difference in operating times. So we can have a laptop with a standard Ethernet cable 
as long as we've got a spare uh, RJ45 connector on site, we can connect to that, assign your PC, you know, uh, an IP address that um, will work on that network, and then we can start communicating to the devices. So that's fine as a service tablet. Uh, but as I said, you know, we want to start thinking about how we can make a difference. Well, let's start thinking about leaving PDM on site because we need to start supporting the complete life cycle. OK, and that's easily achieved. PCs these days are quite cheap and we can put PDM on a, on a standard desktop or we can start using some industrial PCs from Siemens or other suppliers. And one of the things I wanted to, to show you is a, a real nice PC here. So we have the the single um, the service license, sorry, not the single tag. There's our part number, and we can extend it by adding the extended license, the multiplexer license, or we can add additional tags. Okay. Available from Siemens is this nice miniature industrial PC which you, it's got various DIN rail mount options, wall mount so we can put it in a cabinet, We've got a display port it doesn't come with you know, a monitor or ever a customer would have to purchase that themselves we've got two separate RJ45 um, connections so that does lend us to when PDM generates these XML reports, we can start pushing those to, you know, a central location on your office network, for instance, rather than on your plant network. So you can start using these generated reports, maybe for some cloud applications. So, so this little device is, is about four inches by four inches, so it doesn't take up much room in your panel or on your wall. And it's a solid state, um, no moving parts. PC. So it's good for those dusty environments. So uh, I have another project open now. So this project has a, a few more instruments on. It is it is a demo project, but um, you know, imagine this could be a large plant with, with much more I.O. on. So I have a little demo rig here with a compact field unit with a couple of level instruments on, a Siemens level switch and radar. And then I have um, another set of remote I.O. So this is an ET200SP and this has a heart input card and I have a TH300 temperature probe. Let's start having a look at some of the, the nice features. Where we were doing single tag, we would have to upload the parameters from, from one device at a time. I can connect to the whole network. Um, let's do PDM load to PCPG. So we're going to upload all the parameters from the instruments on my plant. Okay, so I want to do all of the sub networks and all of the instruments. So it's found all of these. When I start my communication, I can see now that it's communicating to the instruments and uploading them. So here you'll see the this is a Profibus PA uh, radar, 26 gigahertz radar. If you've as I said, ever played with PDM or used PDM on a Profibus DP to PA coupler with one device, it's OK. As you start adding more and more devices, you're governed by the cycle time of the network and the acyclic gap that you get in that network. So the more information you read back cyclically, the longer it takes to cycle round and you only have that small gap. To, to, to gather that information. Now we're not governed by that on, on a uh, Profinet network, so we get much faster update times. So hopefully the uh, TH300 shouldn't have any faults. So I've done that. It, within this environment, there's no save, it automatically saves. So again, we've got all of the, the functionality. So if I open my object properties on here, I've still got no documentation tab because I need an additional license for that. So this looks very much like my update that I would get on the single tag version because as I said, the EDD functionality is not affected by the license that you've got. So if I go to the radar, I 
hopefully under diagnostics, loss of echo, unable to get measurement, possible causes, in, invalid calibration range, material buildup, clean if necessary. So you, you, you get into the fault pretty quick with a, with a Siemens instrument because of these, these error messages. So I want to, to delve into the parameters in more detail. So rather than opening up one device at a time, I can open up the whole Profibus, Profinet network, sorry. And, and I can jump from one instrument to, to the other. So I can see there I'm at the top. So if I go onto the compact field unit, I have configuration wizards here that I can use to configure that. And then if I go to view, I can life list from here, and then I can update my diagnostics. As I come down, I'm now going to click on the radar. I have a few more. Uh, parameters so it's changed the, my, my menu structure to, to suit the radar I have a quick start wizard for Siemens device echo profile utilities and I can view my process values so this is all, always worth doing I mean it doesn't really matter on a profitable PA device because no scaling is required but if you're on the heart device and somebody was just bringing about the 4 to 20 then it would be worth looking in here so um, it's gone to its fail safe condition. You see the process is bad. So to finish off, we're going to have a look at um, some of the features that are not enabled on this combination. So this is the same if you have the basic license or the service license. Because the service license is just the basic license with additional tags. So if we start looking at our functionality, the value comparison needs the extended license calibration log needs it the extended license and the change log now needs the extended license and unfortunately we do take a little bit of a step back with the basic license because now on this we can't print we need the extended license for that and also the import export functions are not supported so all of these require the PDM extended license so this concludes the look at the basic and service license for somatic PDM we'll be looking ahead in future blogs at the extended and server client license but for now thanks for listening and I hope it was useful